Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Trimmer State 2012. Nah, man, <laughs> my username, but uh, it's your boy Franklin here. And today, I actually got a very special showdown replay that I can't believe I actually not have made a video of this because I think to me this is personally one of my favorites, my favorite time of playing Pokemon Showdown or one of the highlights of playing in Pokemon Showdown. And as you can see here, it's Ubers, but we're going up against Click X Friend now. <laughs> if you guys haven't really if you guys don't really follow Poketubers, uh, you know, casual or competitive, you know that when you see Click X Friend and there's a Whitney avatar, it can only be one person. And that person is nonetheless PokeMMD. Um, it's a funny thing because when I started going back into competitive Pokemon in late generation 6, or as, I should say, um, him, Shofu, and Blunder were like the first three Poketubers that I actually followed competitive wise. It's kind of crazy saying that now since Shofu doesn't really play competitive Pokemon that much anymore. Uh, but he was a god at one point, <laughs> especially at the lower tiers. And uh, Blunder, you know, Blunder is obviously Blunder, always uploads competitive videos. And then, but Pokemon, not only does he upload competitive Pokemon videos, but he actually, it actually helped, his videos actually helped me understand more about competitive sets. What Pokemon are the best in tiers? You know, Ubers, OU were like the main ones, and then UU and all the rest of the tiers as well. So, <clears throat> I believe on this day, it was actually about, I want to say like about five months ago. Yeah, it's actually about five months ago. Uh, I believe he was live streaming that day because I was part of his um, his uh, Pokemon Showdown chat room, and I believe he was accepting challenges, so... I didn't know that at the time, so I just I challenged him, and I ended up getting a battle right off the bat. I was like, "Oh shit, I gotta play seriously now." Um, but yeah, it was pretty fun. It was pretty funny how I ended up getting a, a battle with him. But nonetheless, uh, it's gonna go team preview. So as you guys can see, I'm basically using the X, basically the XYZ core with uh, Groudon, Dustmane, Crozma, and Lunala. Lunala is kind of interesting because it picks off Giratina. And it also picks off more Shadow, as long as Shadow Shield is still up. And looking at his team, pretty threatening. Uh, obviously, that's Mega Metagross. Uh, Garantina Origin Form is someone that I or something that I have not seen in a while. And Ferrothorn, because Ferrothorn can do it, pretty much hold its own weight. And looking at the team, this is definitely Arceus Fairy. So nonetheless, let's get right to it. <coughs> and sorry if my voice feels a bit off because I am kind of sick right now. So let's get to it. So. Obviously, I'm going against Poke Game, so I got to play very smart. So, obviously, I didn't choose the best lead, because uh, obviously I wanted to find out what Arceus this is, and it's going to be Arceus Fairy. Since Arceus Fairy does well against the majority of his, my team, except for Dustmane. So, um, obviously, I'm going to switch out to my Dustmane, because I don't want this to get hit by a Judgment. Gets up rocks, and I stay in. I stand by my play of staying in, because, one, I kind of didn't expect will -O -S, but it kind of makes sense on a team where Dustmane can not really put a dent on everything except Arceus Fairy, which is the main counter, or the main answer, to, uh, or I should say, Dust main Necrozma is the main answer to Arceus. I still stand by my play because Necrozma can't really do much against his team, except for checking or countering Arceus Fairy. I uh, can't really do much against N Nivaltal, Ferrothorn, Groudon, Primal, obviously, and Giratina. So, I haven't fired off the Toxic here, just so I can chip the Arceus, which is going to be very important. So he's going to go into his Ferrothorn, fire on me, I predict that, and I go into my Evolta. Now, he doesn't realize that I'm Specs, so I fire off the Heat Wave and eliminate Ferrothorn, which is pretty good, because now my Zygarde can kind of put in some work. We go into the Primal Ground on here, I'm going to go into my Zygarde, since so this is the only thing that can hit, take a hit. Precipice Blades does quite a bit, <clears throat> as I'm not really a defensive, so I go into my boy Big Papa here, and I get to fire off a thousand arrows, which to my surprise is faster than the ground on. Fires off the HP fire, and it puts me at like one HP. But realizing that I am faster, another thousand arrows would be able to knock up the ground on. But instead, it goes into Arceus and it takes some nice chip. So I stay in here, and the reason why I do this is because um Zygar can't really come in anymore, and he it gets out speed by the rest of his team outside of Groudon. <coughs> Um, and I don't think he's going to be willing to allow the Primal Groudon to be chipped. It's going to come into play really, uh, really soon. So, what I ended up doing here is sacking off the Zygarde here. I lose the Zygarde. Where's my music again? And...
to my Groudon. <clears throat> and then he goes and go into Garantina Origin. I predict that, going for the Rock Tomb, expecting the Precipice Blades with the Fire Blast. I just go for the Rock Tomb here, just like so weaken this. I go into my Dustman and Crozma as he fires off a Draco, I believe. Uh, doesn't do too much because I'm max HP and it's fully uh, special defensive. And so now he's going to go into the Primal Groudon here. I get up my Rocks just so I can start weakening the Evolsol and the Arceus with the Toxic Damage. Goes for the Rock Polish here, and I fire off a Toxic and it misses. So this miss right here is pretty, it's pretty big because now instead of putting this Groudon on a timer, like the last move I know it has, looking at the set, because I've used this set before, uh, its final move is going to be Fire Blast. So I have to bank on <laughs> press of this end, Fire Blast misses, but of course it's not going to happen because this game is pure luck. So with the Toxic, uh, it pretty much will give Groudon approximately, let's see, 6, 12, 18. So it basically three turns um, of Toxic damage. <clears throat> so unfortunately, just Fire Blasts me there, knocks me out. So then I go into my Primal Groudon, expecting to hopefully that Precipice Place will miss. So the reason why I did this, is, and why I didn't go into my Lunala, is because I wanted Lunala's Shadow Shield still up, so that I can take a hit from this Groudon. Otherwise, I straight up lose, and Yvaltal isn't gonna <laughs> isn't gonna take the Fire Blast very well. Uh, so now I went into this expecting for the Precipice Place to miss, hopefully, and then I can hit it back. Um, I, in theory, I could have gone into my, my Xerneas here, and just defogged here. But then I lose my, um, primary, like, answer to Giratina Origin form. Especially if it's kind of fast. Uh, and my Yvalta, which I think it's kind of a misplay on my part. So I go into the Groudon, expecting to miss, so I go into Xerneas here. Oh yeah, and the Xerneas only knows Moonblast, so it can't kill it from, from 35%. And it's, and it's a Scarf Xerneas. So, he misses the Fire Blast, which... You know, it's really good in my favor, so I get the defog off. And as you can see here with the Fire Blast, uh, it pretty much kills my Xerneas. So now I can go into my Lunala. I get the Fire Blast off. That's 42% because of Shadow Shield. I Moon, moon Guys Beam it. It's Groudon. And now it's down to 4-2. Go into the Evolatol. So what I do here is I switch into my own Evolatol here. And as far as the Dark Pulse, 20% is not too bad. But I'm spec. So... I get to do is go for the U-turn, expecting him to go into Giratina, and I go directly into my Lunala here. Now, expecting him to go into his own Evolta, or even firing off a, a Hex from Giratina, I go into my Evolta. Now, I get some delicious nutritious HP off the Oblivion Wing. He toxics me, unfortunately, which means now it's on a timer. But luckily, I'm going to fire off another Oblivion Wing and knock out this Giratina here. <clears throat> now, he's going to go into the Metagross here, and obviously, I am Specs, so I'm locked into that. I think he realizes that, and Meteor Mash just straight up kills me, gets the plus one attack, so now I have to bank on uh, Dark Pulse uh, flinches and all that. He goes for the Bullet Punch, I go for the Dark Pulse, knock out the Metagross, and it's pretty much uh, game over here, because now with the Arceus, now with um, a potential high HP, he gets to uh, judgment me and knock me out for the game. And yeah, he says in the chat that on the last on the, when the battle ended that the miss changed everything, which yeah, it kind of did. <laughs> But yeah, it was a pretty interesting, um, I think it was a really special showdown um, battle, especially when you are playing against a prominent PokeTuber, um, not even prominent, like I think he's, I think Pokeem is like one considered one of the most consistent and better competitive Pokemon uh, PokeTubers on, on YouTube right now, and I think to me it, hit, it hits home, because at the time when this was recorded, I don't think I even had 100 subscribers. I think I had like 50, <laughs> less than 50. And, you know, playing against a juggernaut like him, it's something special. Even though I ended up losing, um, I still think that he is one of the better Pokemon Poketubers out there. And Shofu doesn't play much anymore. And Blunder, although he does bring uh, great, you know, videos with Hita Fajita and his own showdown tournament replays, uh, I think Pokemon has been obviously more consistent man there so to me this is really special and i just wanted to bring this up because i think it's a really cool experience you get to play somebody of that caliber and you know losing to two older to poke game hey i think it's i think it's not bad although i, I might i think i could have played a little better um but the toxic um is definitely uh messed things up a bit 
But nonetheless, uh, I ended up getting a great battle. And, you know, I personally think that, yeah, this is one of my golden moments of playing Pokemon competitively. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, sorry for the, you know, long intro. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, you know what? Click that like and subscribe button, man. Um, I might see if I can find other uh, showdown replays. But this one, to me, hits home. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. It's your boy Franklin, and I'm signing out.